Hey guys, Predzla here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about some more Godzilla figure news, as well as some other kaiju-related stuff. The first thing that we have for today, because we're just jumping right into it, is that we have new information on the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Leo. But first, I am going to be listing off the accessories because I figured why not. Although that is not necessarily part of the new information. Also, I'm not sure if you can hear the sirens. Uh, it's currently storming right now and I imagine something happened. So I do apologize for that. But the accessories are... Leo Nunchucks, Energy Beam Effects, and a Kick Effect. The other accessories are a pair of Fisted Hands, which I imagine come on the figure, a pair of Gripping Hands, a pair of Open Hands, and a hand that isn't a pair, that is actually just a singular hand, that is connected to the energy beam effect. I'm not unsure how entirely they're connected. I don't know if it's like one piece and the hand is actually on there or they're two separate pieces and you can attach the hand piece to the beam itself and there you go. But I also want to mention that that might not entirely be all the accessories. I just want to make that clear because I don't know exactly all the accessories that the figure comes with because the only accessories that were listed in the source that I got this from was the first accessories that I listed off before the hands uh, but I decided to include the hands as well because of those are accessories <laughs> but the new information that we have is that the figure releases November 2021 and the price is about $60. Next we have is we have Omega Beast Godzilla 2019 Furious Blue version statue revealed. Which looks pretty dang cool if you ask me. The statue is about 22 inches tall is about $1,200 and releases early 2022. And the way that you have to purchase this or order this, I guess I should say, uh, is a bit odd. I haven't seen anything like this before or at least not for a official product, if I can remember correctly, because I'm not entirely sure if this is a official product or third party or something like that, but I do believe it is official. But the way to order this, you must send a PM to G Forever on Facebook. And if you don't know what a PM is, it is basically the same exact thing as a DM. If you don't know what a DM is, it is... Like I said, basically the same thing as a PM, and those two are just sending messages to people. So a PM, which I'm not sure, entirely sure why it's just called PM. I don't know why it's not called DM, because I'm pretty sure everywhere else on social media it's called DM, because I'm pretty sure it's DM on Twitter, DM on Instagram, and possibly other places. I'm not entirely sure. But on Facebook, oh, we got to be special. It's PM. I'm sorry, but that's that's time. I'm not sending messages. But anyways, what it is is you just send a message to someone through Messenger. So you have to send them a message if you would like to place an order. Or you can send an email to G Forever's agent at omegabeasttoys at gmail.com. And I will put it in text in the video so you know exactly how to spell it and in case you were wondering if it has any 
capital letters or not, but apparently to the source that I got this from, it is all in lowercase, so there you go. Don't blame me if it doesn't end up going through. That is just how I was told it was. Well, not entirely told, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Lastly, we have is we have a new Mondo Mothra Tokyo SOS Premium Scale Statue and Limited Edition revealed. The Limited Edition has Mothra Larva hatching out of the egg, which is at the bottom of the statue, or around the bottom of the statue. In case you are wondering the difference between the Limited Edition and the Standard Edition, which I think is, I don't know, it's not really that much of a difference, though I'm not going to say I don't prefer the Mothra larva over just the plain eggs, because I think the Mothra larva inclusion is pretty cool. Both of these versions are available now at mondoshop.com. And again, I'll put that in the text in the video, so you can know how to spell that. The standard version is $375, and the limited version is $395. But that's going to unfortunately do it for today. And as you can tell, we don't have much for this video, or we didn't have much for this video, which is pretty unfortunate, if you ask me, because I'm always open for a lot of figure news, so hopefully we'll have some more in this upcoming week. And I'm sure we'll be getting some SH Monster Arts figure news, uh, Probably in the next two months, which isn't necessarily that close, but, I mean, it's still Assage Monster Arts news, so that's, that's always a plus for me, <laughs> which is the official reveal of the Assage Monster Arts Godzilla 2004. Also, I figured I would quickly mention that Bluefin Brands has been teasing that Tamashi Nations may be making a... SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1998. Well, they did like a tweet where it's like, oh, show Tomashi Nations that you want it, and something like that. And uh, I did partake because I, <laughs> I do myself want a SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1998. And uh, also, not really Godzilla news or anything Godzilla related, but. Bluefin Brands also teased that Tamashi Nations might be considering doing a SH Monster Arts, or possibly a Figure Arts, uh, depending, because Ultraman is Figure Arts for some reason, and not Monster Arts, but whatever. A S I'm just going to go with SH Monster Arts. SH Monster Arts Jurassic Park slash World series. Which Bluefin Brands did tease back in, I believe, 2015. That Tamashi Nations may be making a Jurassic Park slash World series. And obviously that didn't happen. So hopefully this time it is more legit because I would actually enjoy that. Though I'm not sure if I would cover it because it's not really kaiju related. And I feel like I would have to cover other Jurassic Park slash World figure stuff. And I don't know, I'm not really. I don't know, I think that would be a bit too much for me. But I would still be very excited for those. My main target would be the SH Monster Arts or Figure Arts. Spinosaurus, because Spinosaurus is my favorite dinosaur. Well, the Jurassic Park three version anyways i mean i do like the realistic version of uh spinosaurus but i prefer the jurassic park three version more 
And also, I would like a uh, Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. I mean, I guess Rexy would be cool as well, but those three that I listed before would, or would be my main targets. I mean, depending on the price, but I feel if they do a Godzilla 1998, it's highly possible that they can do a Dinos, that they can do Dinos, <laughs> because I don't see why not, because Godzilla 1998 is as close as a Dino that you're really going to get out of Godzilla, and you know, minus Gorsaurus, but I don't know, because Gorsaurus is a dinosaur, but you get what I mean. Like with the uh, body position, I guess you could say. Because Gorsaurus kind of stands up like Godzilla, so not entirely a dinosaur from Jurassic Park's Less World position. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.